Hello guys, do you want to write your code faster? Of course you do. And there are tools for that, like Laravel IDEA plugin for PHP Storm. And in this video, I'm giving 10 licenses for Laravel IDEA for one year for free. How to win one of those? Watch this video until the end. I will show the URL and page for that giveaway kind of lottery. But the goal of this video is to showcase new features of Laravel IDEA released over the last few years. It's been a while since I've shot a video on Laravel IDEA and there are new things inside. Disclaimer, I'm not affiliated. I don't get paid for this video. I just have an idea to showcase a great tool to you. I'm a happy user myself and I ask the creator of Laravel IDEA to provide 10 licenses for giveaway and he agreed. So let me show you Laravel IDEA latest things in action in no particular order. Here I am in my PHP storm and what Laravel IDEA allows me to do. First feature is creating a new eloquent model with relationships. So for example, I have a task model and I want to create another model called comments to those tasks. I open menu item Laravel new eloquent model and here's the window. So I enter model name comment. It automatically suggests to have IDs and timestamps, table name, migration factory and other stuff and then I create fields. So in addition to IDs and timestamps, for example, content to which task. So I add a new relation. So relation of task and it is auto completed. So task ID I double click. So I have that new field then who wrote that task, another relation to user, and then a new field, comment, text, for example, like this. Let's put it as text instead of string, and then I can also choose to generate JSON resource, filament resource, controller, form request is actually a beneficial thing, and OK. And the result in a few seconds are opened files, automatically opened, so migration looks like this, then model looks like this with the relationships and use statements and also form request class with default validation rules. It's kind of like PHP Artisan make model on steroids but with the fields that you provide in that modal window. Feature number two is also related to eloquent models. Do you see that Laravel logo here? So I am in the eloquent model and I can go to, if I click here, to factory or to migration in one click. So if that migration is related to that model, you can go to that file directly from the model. So for example, I go to task, I click here and what files are here? Task resource, for example. Okay. And this is a filament resource. So it's typical, for example, from filament resource to land in a model here just by clicking in PHP Storm, but there's no convenient way to go from model to related files in Laravel projects. So Laravel IDEA helps us with that. Feature number three is generating fillables. For example, if we don't have any fillables here in the model, I go fillable, this is PHP Storm part, empty array, and then I go add. And then how do you want to add those fields, horizontal or vertical? Let's choose horizontal and this says generate it automatically. And not only that, Laravel IDEA allows you to generate related stuff to the model. For example, in any place on your model, you can go comment N and you can generate whatever related thing to that model. It's basically running PHP Artisan make something under the hood, but it has the fields inside already and also adds additional options in the modal windows to choose what exactly you want to generate. For example, observer, you may choose which methods would be inside of that observer. That is a pretty often pain point of myself, my personal pain point. If I go PHP Artisan make observer from the terminal, it generates a lot of methods that I don't actually need. Usually I create observers for created and maybe something else. So usually I would remove those, click OK, and then start typing immediately for created method. So this is the thing with Laravel IDEA. It allows you to create eloquent model related files easily. But how does it work under the hood? How does it know all those fields? There's a menu item in Laravel on top called generate helper code. So that's what you should launch after changes in your eloquent model. And there's a keyboard shortcut for that common shift dot if I remember correctly. So it regenerates the helper for the models. And from there, your PHP storm has additional capabilities of generating something related to that model. A few more smaller Laravel IDEA helpers I use personally. For example, in the factory, you can start typing STA, stands for state, and see Laravel logo in one of the options. So you go state and then start typing the name of the function, then go down below and fill that in with 
email verified ad, which is also autocompleted by the way, and do it like this. So generate factory state a bit quicker. Next thing, if you want to generate a service class or an action class, now in Laravel we have a command make class, PHP artisan make class, but also you can do that from Laravel idea, common shift comma for command, and then type in create class. Then you go, for example, services, user service, and then you choose add a constructor. Is it invocable class? So let's do this and put OK. And then we are inside of the user service. So no need to open the terminal and type in PHP artists and make something. And a final small thing, I was working with filament here in the profile blade and I noticed this Laravel logo here. And I thought, what would it land on if I am in a blade file of filament page? I clicked and I land on the filament page itself, on the live wire component or filament page. So it's easy to go from blade to filament page and vice versa. So that's another thing what Laravel IDEA can help you with, quick navigation between related files. So yeah, I've shown you just a few features of Laravel IDEA. You can take a look at them all in the overview. I had an older video overview, then there are features like code generation, eloquent routing, localization blade, and then there's live wire auto completions in the latest versions. I haven't shown you that. So I do recommend Laravel IDEA. It's not a free plugin to PHP Storm, but it's totally worth it if you are already a PHP Storm user. And if you want to win a one year license to Laravel IDEA, here's a giveaway from me. In fact, it's a giveaway from the creator of Laravel IDEA. I'm just a messenger here to decide who wins. So on Laravel Daily.com, we have a feature, old feature for giveaways. And this is the condition. You go to this page. I will put the link in the description below. To enter, you have to have a Laravel IDEA account, but it doesn't have to be a premium account. It could be a free account. You just need to register. It's just for the sake of me having your email address for the giveaway and then answer one very simple question. I deliberately made it very simple so majority would answer. So Laravel IDEA is a plugin for which IDE, which editor, put the name of that editor in here and submit the answer. Do that until the end of this week, until Sunday, July 28th, and I will randomly pick the 10 winners on Monday and I will tweet about it so you can follow me on Twitter at Povilus Corp and I will email personally the winners. Historically, in previous giveaways, there were usually from 500 to 1,000 participants. So these should be your expectations about the probability of winning, but still, it's not one in a million, so you should totally participate. And even if you don't win, I do recommend Laravel IDEA as a great helper to help you write code faster. Are there any Laravel IDEA functions that you use personally and love? Shoot them in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.